all right so in this lab what we are going to do we are going to explain our example a bit better so that um, it is easier to understand what we are doing here when we are doing the mediation analysis all right so we have previously created a cchs dataset in our lab 4a we are basically using the same format of how to load the data set how to subset the data set and uh, combine the data set to cshs cycle uh, 1.1 2.1 and 3.1 into one data set keeping all of the same variable names and then appending we are keeping um, and defining the exposure outcome and covariates there are many covariates and after that we prepared the data and we have seen there are some missing values in there and then we save the data so there were two portion of the data set one was with missing data and one was the complete case data and we have saved this as a our data file so in our current lab our lab 7.1 we are essentially uh, using the same data set where um, we have an analysis in mind where outcome is the cardiovascular event exposure is the osteoarthritis patient and mediator is the pain mediation medication or insights and there are some adjustment covariates um, or you can call them confounders so to begin with what we are doing here is that we are assigning the mediator variable exposure variable and the outcome variable based on what we have explained here um, one of the things we are doing here note that um, all of these variables are being converted to a 0 1 binary variable so previously these were factor variables but um, or character variable but we are converting all of those to 0 and 1 so if it was yes it is uh, 1 if, if it is uh, osteoarthritis arthritis patient uh, in the treated group um, or the exposure group it is 1 if it is event then it is 1 otherwise it is zero this will come handy when we are we will do our further analysis later on all right so our general hypothesis is something like this that we have our demographic variables and um, th these demographic variables are essentially confounders because they are impacting the exposure variable as well as the outcome variable but we are basically interested in the total effect from osteoarthritis to the cardiovascular event for mediation analysis our graph becomes a bit more complicated where you can see from osteoarthritis now we have another uh, node pain medication and from pain medication we have cardiovascular event so this effect, the effect from osteoarthritis to the pain medication is going to be the natural indirect effect and the arrow directly from osteoarthritis to cardiovascular event is going to be the natural direct effect. There are some other arrows which are all coming from the confounder list. And in terms of our confounder, we have uh, various demographic variables, important confounders and uh, some of the confounders are relationship with other variables because our cardiovascular event is our outcome uh, some of the uh, diseases are related to this particular disease so to to obtain the total effect what we need to do is we need to fit um, a regression where we have the exposure variable and we have the confounder list right so in our case we have this survey design and we have this um, data with missing values and we are defining our design with missing value and then once we define our design we simply restrict to the complete case analysis uh, using the subset command right um, and then we can essentially run this same regression where 
we are um, in, as independent variable we have exposure variable and the um, confounder variables and in here we have that we have exposure variable we have outcome variable as the dependent variable and is as independent variable we have all of these um, confounder variables and to obtain the total effect we simply need to get the exposure variables um, odds ratio right so in terms of the odds ratio i'm getting 1.54 and i'm getting a confidence interval before doing a mediation analysis it is interesting to check whether your exposure is impacting your mediator at all or not so to do that you can check here so in here you you can see uh, osteoarthritis is impacting your pain mitigation so in our mediation model what we are going to do is this pain mitigation is going to be now the outcome and this um, osteoarthritis is going to be one of the independent variables in that regression um, so we we see this relationship now the mediator is the de dependent variable independent variable is the exposure and we also have many other confounders that we are adjusting in this mediation model uh, this is not necessarily the mediation model per se but um, this is one way to check whether your exposure is uh, has an impact on the mediator or not directly and we check the odds ratio and the odds ratio is uh, very high 2.42 with the confidence interval of 2 to 2.86 so now that we know that our exposure impacts our mediator um, in a substantial way um, that can motivate you to think about whether um, you want to conduct a mediation analysis or not.